This video is to show you how to do a sleepy eye on your animal instead of using safety eyes. So what I have done so far here is I have followed the instructions for the pattern and I have placed pins in where my safety eyes would have gone because that'll help me map out where the eye will look best. And then I added the comb at the top. I added my beak for the embroidery. And then what I've done is I've taken about 18 inches or so of worsted weight yarn. You don't need nearly this much, but about 18 inches of worsted weight yarn. Now you could use embroidery floss. You could divide this if you want a thinner eye. You could divide the plies and just use part of the yarn, whatever, whatever works for you. So we're going to come in one stitch in from where the eye was supposed to go. And we're going along the same round that the eyes would go on. And then I'm going to come out two stitches over. So that gives us three stitches at the top to work with. And then we're going to use these two bottom stitches, like the bottoms of these stitches, pretend it's like a V coming down. We're going to use these two pieces as well. So go across here under those three stitches to start. You want to pull your yarn until you have a few inches left here. And then we are going to bring our yarn back and insert it again in this first hole. And we are going to come up down here in the bottom. And what we're doing is we're going to have one straight line of yarn coming across here. And then we are going to tack it down at these two bottom points. So you want to pull your yarn, make sure your end doesn't come out. Pull the yarn and then you're going to push your needle back in the same hole that it just came out, but make sure it's on the other side of this main swoop of yarn here. So we're going to come back in the other side. And then we're going to do the same sort of idea here in this next hole. So we're going to come up on one side of the yarn and back down on the other. You can tighten that up a little bit. We've got this. We're going to go back down and then up where we originally went in. So there we go. There's our basic sleepy eye. Now, if you want it darker, then you can use a thicker yarn or you can go over that one more time. And if you want eyelashes, you can come out here and do little eyelashes. But I'm going to go straight over into my other eye. I'm going to go here and I'm going to come up. So we're doing this kind of the opposite as we did on this side, where instead of going in on this side, we're coming out, but it'll still work the same way. So we still, we have our three stitches at the top. And then we've got our two sort of pieces at the bottom. So we're going to go in this right side and come out where our first little attachment point's going to be. Just that. And then we're going to go back down. Make sure you're going back down the other side of that line. Then come out for here. And our next hole. And then we're going to bring our yarn down so that we're going up the one side of the yarn and then back down the other. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come right back over to this first eye. And there we go. Okay. So we're going to take our pins out to tie it. I'm just going to make a knot here. As long as you make it near the hole, then when you thread your yarn through here, the knot will go in with it. Push that in. And we're going to grab the other side and pull that in as well. And there you go.
there's a quick little sleepy eye for you to add to any of your I'm making movies. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Bye for now.